Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Instagram DMs with your N10 AI agent. This AI agent will be able to run your DMs, talk to the customers, talk to the people and go back and forth in your messages. For the simplicity of this approach, you're going to be using Go High Level as the bridge between N10 and Instagram DMs. But if you want to have a more direct approach in the future and not rely on Go High Level, just comment down below and I'll show you how you can directly connect your Instagram to the and I then by creating meta developer app but for now for the simplicity of the approach we're gonna stick to go high level you will be able to test your AI agent and see how it even works in real so let me make my webcam a bit smaller and let's start building so we are here in NA10 canvas and I have my um, go high level canvas set up for this method you need to connect your Instagram and Facebook page to go high level you have to ensure that your Instagram uh, is connected to the Facebook page and your Instagram is a business account. Uh, so here we're going to add a new trigger. Basically this trigger is going to execute the whole workflow and make it work. So it's going to be reply, customer replied. So every time we get a message from our customer, the, the workflow is going to get executed and uh, it's going to work or whenever customer texts us as well. So it's going to be simple. Let's save the trigger and let's add custom webhook. So here we have contact ID, contact name, um, let's put here, message, message, and here we're going to use message body, we have extra here. We're going to use message body. We don't need the phone number, we can, and that should work. So basically, this webhook is going to pass pass all the information from the Instagram DM to NA10. For example, the ID of the sender, uh, the name of the sender, and as well the message body of the sender, basically the message that's sent. We have to set it up as action name, whatever you want, event custom, that is going to be post, and for URL, we're going to paste the URL that we have from the webhook inside the NA10. So let's go back to NA10 and let's create that webhook. It's going to be a webhook. We're going to be using production URL. Go back. We're going to paste it right here. We're going to go back to NA10. The method is going to be post. Uh, pass is going to be the same authentication. Respond. For now, we're going to keep it immediately, but later we're going to change it. So let's save it. So we saved it and now we can go back to the IG test and we can scroll down and save response from this webhook. For this, we have to test, send a test request. So let's choose one of the users we have and let's send a test request. As you can see, this uh, the test request was successfully executed, meaning that everything is set up and we can save the workflow for now. So let's go back and in execution logs, you'll see now time is 5.55 that everything was sent and let's see the information that we got. We got, as we said, in a body of the custom webhook inside the Go High Level, we get the ID of the sender, we get the name of the sender, and we get the message. For this one, it was empty message, we just tested it. So meaning that everything works. Let's go back to the editor, and let's keep creating more. So now we need AI agent. Because at the end of the day, you, there is no purpose if we just get the message. We want to be able to respond and communicate with the person. So here we're going to be using define below. Let's actually go back real quick and let's copy this to editor in order to pass the information. So here in define below, we're going to paste the message of the user. So in prompt user message, we're going to put the message of the user. So our AI agent sees what even the person is texting you. So in options, you're going to create add option system message. For the simplicity of the tutorial, I'm just going to create a very simple uh, system message. It's going to be you run Insta DMs, your phone is to text back, hey, IG, hey, IG. Every input 
keep cat. So every time someone texts us, we're gonna just send them back, hey, IG. Uh, but at the end of the day, depending on your business needs or your Instagram needs, you can always create your own system message or you can actually check out some videos I've created in the past. One of them was uh, I created AI, so AI agents that runs my social media. There you can see how system messages work as well as how to give database to your AI agent. But for now, we just wanna show how this bridge is can be connected between Instagram and MA10. So here, We'll have to give it the chat model. We're going to be using OpenAI. We can use 4.0 Mini. It's fine. Here in memory, we're going to give it a simple memory. And session ID we have to define below. Key, when it comes to key, we're going to send the ID of the user. So basically, our AI agent has a memory. Depending on a context window length, you can set it as 10, 25, depending on how many inputs and outputs you want to your AI agent to remember basically the conversation. So it can talk in a context in in the context of the previous messages as well. So when it comes to the key, the reason why we pass in the key, it has to remember, hey, what was that person we were talking to? And it's gonna look at the ID. Oh, this ID matches the person I talked in the past. So it's gonna remember the some of the conversations that were going on between them. So we created the memory and let's test the workflow. Let's actually test the AI agent. So you see, it created the output AIG, meaning that everything works correctly. And now we can save the action and we can go back and create Instagram DM. So here in Instagram DM, it's basically we're going to take the information from custom webhook, the response of the custom webhook, and pass it to the Instagram. So here is going to be two curly brackets. It's going to be custom webhook dot four dot response and we're going to close it off with two other curly brackets now we can save the action we can save this workflow and we can go back to na10 and we can create the response to webhook so here we're going to create the response to webhook basically the outputs that we created with our ai agent is going to be passed back to go high level and then instagram dm so it's going to be a uh, text and here we're gonna put the AI agent's output in the response body. Basically, pop now we got the message of the user, and now we're passing the message of the AI agent back to the user. So let's unpin this. Let's unpin. Let's save the workflow, and let's put it to the test. So now everything is set up. But before you actually test it, always make sure to go back to your webhook and use using respond to webhook node as a response. So now let's go back to the Instagram. And this is my main Instagram that is connected to NA10 and uh, go high level. And we're going to text from the dummy Instagrams that I created to see if I get back the message. Hey, IG. So let's go and text myself real quick. We're going to text hello, for example. Let's see. We should be getting Hey IG as a message back. At the end of the day, when it comes to your AI agent, you can create anything. You can give it all as big of a system prompt as you want and give it even a database to make it even more versatile. If that's something that is interesting to you, just comment down below and I can create something similar. But we're still waiting and let's see if we get the message back. Okay, as you can see, we got the hey, IG message back, meaning that everything works and uh, everything is set up. Let's go back, let's go to the executions and let's see. So we got the information back from Go High Level. So it was hey, hello, ID, name of the user. Then this hello is passed to our user message to AI agent that has the system message so that every time you get any input from the user, just text back hey, IG. Then we send this information to the respond to webhook that goes back to go high level and uh, goes back to Instagram as a custom webhook for response. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it beneficial and interesting. If you have more questions or anything that um, you didn't understand, just comment down below and I'll be happy to help you out. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Have a good one. Bye bye, guys.